To end the COVID-19 pandemic and to return to some kind of normal, we're gonna need a vaccine. But how long will it take to develop one? 12 to 18 months is the timeline that we keep hearing about for a potential COVID-19 vaccine. When do we have a vaccine? 12 to 18 months. We're 12 to 18 months away from this going away. But here's a comparison. The fastest vaccine we've previously developed was for mumps, and that took four years to develop. And typically it takes 10 to 15 years to develop a vaccine, so 12 to 18 months would be record-breaking. So let's look at how vaccines for viruses are typically developed. Stage one, the exploratory stage. The exploratory stage is also known as the research or discovery stage for a vaccine. Here, researchers are trying to come up with the best possible way to immunize us against a virus. This first stage can take between two to four years, but right now scientists are speeding through stage one, partly because of new technologies and also because this SARS coronavirus has some similarities to the first SARS virus. Researchers are developing nucleotide-based vaccines that use the virus's genetic code to potentially protect us from infection. This is a new way of developing a vaccine where the virus's RNA or DNA prompts our bodies to make a part of the virus, and that's how we develop immunity to it. In January 2020, Chinese scientists shared the genetic sequence of the new coronavirus. This allowed researchers around the world to understand what the virus looked like and how it worked, and it gave them a head start to developing a vaccine. So if nucleotide-based vaccines work, that could mean that we're done with this first exploratory stage, and that cuts up to four years off our timeline. But, and this is a big but, nucleotide-based vaccines have never made it through clinical trials and FDA approval. So the exploratory stage can take up to four years, but thanks to existing research and new technologies for vaccine development, some COVID-19 vaccines may already be through this stage. Stage two, preclinical stage. This is where scientists start testing the vaccine in cell cultures and in animals to see if it triggers an immune response. If there's no immune response or the vaccine is causing harm to cells, then it's back to square one, the exploratory stage. So how quickly can we move through the preclinical stage for a COVID-19 vaccine? Well, the reality is there's no way to speed up this stage and it will probably take at least a year. But one way to make this more efficient is to start doing different stages of vaccine development simultaneously. This is exactly what some COVID-19 vaccine scientists are doing right now. They're testing the vaccine in animals at the same time that they're testing the vaccine in humans. Doing testing in animals and humans at the same time is unusual, but the FDA does have a fast track process in cases of public health emergencies. Most vaccines don't make it past the preclinical stage, but the American biotech company Moderna is working on a COVID-19 vaccine and was able to get from the first exploratory stage to human trials in 63 days. Stage three, clinical trials. This third stage is clinical trials or testing the vaccine in people. Most vaccines don't ever reach clinical trials, but if they do, then this stage can take 19 months or more and it consists of three phases. In the first phase, the experimental vaccine is given to a small group of people. This phase can take about three months. If an experimental vaccine is safe, then it moves on to phase two. Phase two typically takes at least six to eight months. During phase two, the vaccine is given to several hundred people, including a control group who get a placebo, not the actual vaccine. The control group helps researchers compare how the vaccine works and control for different variables. In phase three, thousands of people, usually folks in the outbreak area, will receive the experimental vaccine. This phase can also last at least six to eight months, if not longer. And at this point, researchers are looking to make sure the vaccine is effective and to monitor any side effects. These are best case scenarios in terms of the timeline for each phase of human testing. Right now, there are at least three COVID-19 vaccines in phase one clinical trials in the US. 
One way to speed up phase three clinical trials is to do something called a human challenge trial. That's where people are given the vaccine, but then the scientists intentionally infect them with the virus to see more quickly if the vaccine really works. It might sound like an extreme way to speed up vaccine development, but it's been done many times before, including with cholera, dengue, and flu. Human challenge trials raise many ethical red flags. In 2017, there was a proposed human challenge trial to speed up a Zika vaccine. And Zika, of course, can cause severe birth defects. And that human challenge trial was criticized by ethicists as being too risky. So doing the math, the quickest way that a COVID-19 vaccine could make its way through human testing without doing human challenge trials is around 15 months. But there could be delays at any point along this timeline. Stage four, regulatory review. At this stage, the vaccine manufacturer submits an application to receive a license so that they can manufacture the vaccine. Typically, it takes the FDA 10 months to conduct a standard review or six months for a priority review. But the FDA can move faster in case of a public health emergency. And some FDA programs allow for a rolling review. That's where the vaccine maker is submitting information as they go along instead of waiting till they finished and then submitting the application. The FDA is responsible for overseeing the safety of any drug or vaccine available in the US. So its review of this information is absolutely critical before the vaccine can make its way to a large population. No COVID-19 vaccines in the US are near this stage. Over in the UK, scientists at the University of Oxford are hopeful that emergency approval of their vaccine by UK regulators could mean it's available in September. The best case would be a rolling review of a potential COVID-19 vaccine taking less than the usual timeline of six to 10 months. Stage five, manufacturing. This is a stage where drug companies start making and distributing their vaccines. It takes an incredible amount of resources and investment in infrastructure, raw materials, and scientific expertise. Manufacturing a vaccine can take a long time. According to one estimate, it can take between seven to 36 months to produce and deliver a vaccine. It can also take a really long time for companies to scale up their manufacturing capabilities. The drug company Pfizer told the New York Times that it took them $600 million and five years just to produce a manufacturing plant for one of their pneumococcal vaccines. And currently, we are not at the manufacturing stage for a COVID-19 vaccine. But if we were, how quickly would we move? To be honest, this is an unknown and depends very much on the capacity of the drug company involved. Stage six, quality control. So we're not done yet. Once the vaccine is distributed to the public, there's the ongoing stage of quality control. And this is done in the US by the CDC, the FDA, and the vaccine maker. So how long will it take before a vaccine is available for the public? Well, we can go through each stage and add up the time taken, but often these are time ranges. And we're seeing right now that sometimes one stage is done at the same time as another stage. When experts optimistically say that they expect a COVID-19 vaccine by the end of 2020, they're talking about an emergency use authorized vaccine, not a fully approved one, and very limited supplies of one. Seeing a vaccine in 12 to 18 months would mean producing millions of doses by January or June of 2021. If things continue to move as quickly as they are now, there's a possibility that there could be a COVID-19 vaccine in two years, likely in early 2022. The major delays in potentially seeing a vaccine by the new year would be the time it takes to safely move through clinical trials and the manufacturing stage. Clinical trials usually take a minimum of 15 months, and that's if everything goes perfectly, with the vaccine working exactly the way it was designed and not causing major side effects. The manufacturing stage is another unknown. Producing a safe and effective vaccine for millions or billions of people could take at minimum seven months. I know we're excited and desperate for a vaccine to be available within 12 to 18 months, but what's even more important than rushing is that we have a vaccine that's safe and a vaccine that works. And until then, we're going to have to stick with the things that we know work, including those containment measures such as physical distancing.